Hey guys, welcome back to 10 Acres in a Dream. Bill has yet another project to show us today, so let's get started. So what you got going on? Well, I need a oiler for my chainsaw mill. Um, what's happening is the dust is clogging up the ports and it's not getting oil onto the chain. So um, looked around, watched a couple of uh, YouTube videos and kind of picked out a little bit here and there and then kind of scrounged around my junk pile and <laughs> see what I could come up with. So I found this bottle right here. This is uh, a fungicide for uh, my blueberries and it's a pretty sturdy little plastic bottle. So um, I had an old one right here. So um, needed a bracket to hold it and I'll show you when it's, once it's on the rail, but uh, that's, this will slide onto the, the mill. Uh, it wasn't enough room in there, so I had to cut the sides off right here and expand them and weld them back on so I had a little bit more room in there. That's nice. Um, stuck me a nut on there so I could tighten it down, which it's so snug I really didn't even need this. But uh, a couple of hose clamps to hold it in and this aluminum bracket I found laying around, bend it over. Um, so I'll need two things. I'll need the fluid to come out of here and I'll need air to be able to come in. So uh, the fluid to come out is the most difficult one. So I'm going to drill a hole. Got that drilled right there. And just got me some just brass fittings, air filter fittings, stuff like uh, compressor fittings and stuff. So anyway, um, this is going to go up in here. And then I've got to stick something on the inside to stop it from leaking. So... Um, Got me a couple of O-rings right here. Oh, let me zoom in. Gotta like those O-rings. And right. uh, you can get a kit from Harbor Freight that has all of these different sizes in there. Everybody should have one of those. Um, so we're going to take this, drop these two O-rings in there. See that? Oh, nice placement. Yeah. All right. And then I've got a washer i did have to open up the hole a little bit for the washer <laughs> but it fits Good. right around there See that? yeah oh wow so it looks good and then we're going to oh Talk this thing that. sticks up a ways so i just drilled a hole right there um yeah, that'll allow the oil to get out and instead of it having to be up to this level in there, it can, when it's almost empty, it can still get out through that hole. That was easier than just cutting out the top there. So that was my quick solution for that. So put this on here. Let's tighten it up. Grab this over here. Okay, so that presses those O rings on the inside against it and mm. gives it a tight seal. And this presses from this side on there, so it sandwiches them in there. And I have water tested it. It does not leak around here. Um, the first time I did it only had one O-ring in. It did leak. So I put the second O-ring. That solved the leak and stopped that. So um, then the uh, cap will go on right here. Um, let me get my hosing done. And I'll get back and hook it up and show you what it looks like. Yippee! We can't right. wait. Okay, got it uh, mounted up here. Um, so, got me two here. So, uh, leave one adjusted all the time and one's on and off. And, um, show them where it comes down right at the blade right there. Right there? Oh. Yeah, so. Yeah, look at, go back down there. So you can see it. Yeah, so it should drip out yeah. right there. And let me show you over here what I did. I took a piece of, let's see if you can get, get that wire right there. Mm, let's see, it's gonna, let me see if I can get through there. 
right there. Yes, yeah, so that's a, that right there. It's a piece of aluminum wire. And I just zip tied that to this rubber hose right here. That's that clever. way I could bend it in the position I wanted it. And then down here, I've got it zip tied here mm -hmm. and here. So it's pretty rigid. Um, wow. So that was my concern because I don't want this thing moving around because if it doesn't, if it doesn't drip right in that spot, um, then it's, it's not going to help. Um, I like the uh, the one where you drill the hole in the bar mm -hmm. and it, it dumps oil right into there. the trough. But I only would do that if I was using a dedicated bar for milling, which I don't do that. So this bar is used for a lot of stuff. So that's why I'm going with this right here. Um, the things that I have that I would be a little bit concerned about would be my height here um having to get that out of the way but i can't think of why i'd need to i mean nine inches is right there i can't think of why i would have to go more than that but that would be the only thing that i can think of right off hand that i may not be happy about but we'll, we'll try it out and see how it goes i put my air vent on the side because it's got one of those silly little locking <laughs> thing you got to push down and then turn it so um i thought it'd be better here so i just drilled a small hole and then really forced that uh, rubber hose through there and then i put some uh hot glue around it which you probably didn't need because it's a really hard pull to pull it through that hole so um that should work and uh of course i've got the hand crank here love that that thing is makes it so much easier <laughs> so anyway um Thanks for watching, and yes. uh, we'll give it a try here and uh, let you see how it works. Sounds good.